People with type 2 diabetes should see their health care provider regularly to help manage their diabetes. However, a pandemic can wreak havoc on our normal routines and make it more difficult to see our provider in person. We all want to do our part to be safe and keep others safe. So how can you safely continue your health care during a pandemic? Telehealth may be an option for some of your health care needs, especially during a pandemic when it doesn't feel as safe or easy to get to your doctor's office. Telehealth means that you can still see your healthcare provider, but it's not in person. Instead, your visit takes place virtually through a computer, smartphone, iPad, or by telephone. Telehealth may be more convenient than seeing your provider in person because you can complete the visit in your home. If you have difficulty walking, telehealth can avoid transportation hurdles. In some cases, a telehealth visit may mean that you get to see your health care provider sooner. However, telehealth may not be appropriate for all health issues. Your provider can help you decide if telehealth is a good option for your care. Let's explore some examples of when telehealth may and may not be a good idea. Meet Malia. She was attending in-person weight counseling visits with her health care provider before the pandemic struck. At these in-person clinic visits, Malia learned about ways to eat healthy, stay physically active, and reduce stress. Malia wants to continue her in-person clinic visits, but she also has type 2 diabetes, which puts her at greater risk of severe disease if she contracts COVID-19. Telehealth may be the right option for Malia to continue weight counseling. With how far technology has come, Malia can attend her visit with her healthcare provider virtually and limit her exposure by staying in the comfort of her home. She doesn't have to arrange weekly childcare to attend her visit like she's done in the past, which was challenging. With telehealth, Malia can talk with her provider through the computer in real time. She can see and hear her provider, similar to the in-person clinic visit. Her provider can still counsel Malia and share the same information as if they were together in person. Malia should check with her doctor's office first to make sure telehealth is the right option for this visit. How can Malia prepare for her telehealth visit in advance? She can make sure her device is charged and working. If possible, find a quiet place in her home for the visit. Make sure she is familiar with how to log in to the telehealth visit and set up video audio features. If possible, ask a support person to join her for the visit. Write down any questions she may have for her healthcare provider ahead of time. If she has a skill at home, weigh herself before the visit and write the result down. Have any physical activity or nutrition logs easily accessible. Now, Let's take a look at a scenario when telehealth may not be appropriate. Meet Samuel. He has a history of heart disease, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, and type 2 diabetes. He is experiencing lightheadedness along with short episodes of rapid heart rate when he increases his activity level, like shoveling snow or going up two flights of stairs at home. He calls his doctor's office and they recommend that he be seen in person. A telehealth visit would not be appropriate for Samuel because he may be having a serious heart problem and the doctor needs to perform tests to see if his heart is working properly. This could not be completed through a telehealth visit. There may be a third option for your healthcare needs, one where you have both a telehealth visit and an in-person clinic visit for a procedure, such as a blood draw. Let's meet Denise. She has type 2 diabetes and checks her blood sugars regularly. For the past few days, she's had high blood sugar readings in the morning and after eating meals. She also has been experiencing numbness and tingling in her hands and feet. She decides to call her doctor's office. Her healthcare provider orders labs for her to have some blood work done. Denise comes in person to have the blood work completed. After that, she is scheduled to tell a health appointment with her health care provider to discuss her blood work results and come up with a diabetes management plan. 
It may not always be easy for you to tell if a telehealth or in-person clinic visit is the better option for your next healthcare need. It's best to work with your doctor's office to decide which is right for you. While telehealth can be convenient and effective in some instances, it may not be right for more urgent or concerning health issues. No healthcare issue should ever be ignored. Your healthcare providers are always available to discuss your concerns and schedule you for the most appropriate kind of visit. This will help them to determine the best course of action so that you can always be your healthiest. With the increase of telehealth use during the COVID-19 pandemic, researchers are studying how it can best help patients with or at risk of type 2 diabetes. Check out some of the work we're doing 